gonna show you what happened to the Netty website in October 2013. On a regular basis, I check the forum and support users and answer their questions. One day though, I couldn't access the forum anymore because the provider took it down. They informed me about a security incident. I had a look at the statistics and noticed this peak on the 22nd. On the top URL list, I saw this Tau gateway script being executed quite a bit. Apparently it was used to relay spam from my website. I downloaded all access log files and had a look at how they did it. Provider pointed out they were including and prepending files because PHP safe mode was turned off. They were including the file sotext from florbella.com.brazil. This is a web shell allowing you to browse files, databases and of course upload files amongst many other things. I grabbed for those prepend calls to see which IP addresses were using that. I then grabbed for those individual IP addresses to see what else they were doing on my website. As this was pretty cumbersome, I decided to automate those two steps with a Perl script called the Riddle. By default, it will grab for auto prepend file in files starting with access log. It will then grab for those IP addresses to show what else they were doing on my website. In this case, the first one matched prepend seven times with a total access count of seven. The duration is a good indicator whether the access was automated or not. I then realized there were other PHP scripts being executed like hgerhc on the bottom. Looking at this hgerhc script reveals PHP code indeed. It evaluates whatever is base64 encoded in this data. Looking at the base64 decoded script, there's a lot of gibberish at first glance. But those are only comments, and the actual code is in between the comments. In this case, the attacker can use a properly formed request to execute any code on my web page. Now, the riddle could match on hgerhc as well to correlate similar requests. Here we can see that we had one attack being used with hgerhc and the same IP address was scanning all possible subdirectories. After checking the file system and the databases, I decided to delete everything and reinstall Neddy and the forum from scratch. I then, of course, changed the database passwords and got the site back up and running. Thanks for watching.